everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Lord of the Rings action figure review from Diamond Select Toys. We have Samwise Gamgee, part of Series 6. We just had a look at Saruman the Wise yesterday, uh, the time of this video dropping. Uh, yeah, really fantastic figure, big range of accessories, which I love. Um, yeah, sort of early on in the line, they were sort of doing characters with a bit of a builder figure, and we got Sauron out of that, which was fantastic. But it kind of... Kind of like what they've done here. They've they've gone a bit more of a focus on accessories. Um, I hope some of these can sort of be added to other figures later. Um, such as the Elvish Cloak, which is really nice. We've got Sam's backpack here. There's a couple of little peg-in slots in the back. I love all these pots and pans. Sleeping bag. His elvish rope. Little satchels and bags. Looks great. Love the sort of the brush steel look of the uh, of the pans. I think it looks good. That is the exact pot that he boils the potatoes in. And we do have his sort of crossbody satchel here. And all these accessories will fit on the figure, most of them. He does have his... Well, I guess technically it's a dagger. <laughs> it's a, it's his hobbit sword. Hobbit-sized sword. So that's nice, nicely painted, nicely sculpted. Looks good. He does come with... A version of Sting, which is obviously Glone. This is during his sort of his raid on Kirithungal. He goes to fight the uh, the orcs to save Frodo, or against his his little duel against Shelob. And I love this accessory. It's his little it's his little box of spices, salt. Seasoning. So nicely detailed. Really, really cool. And just down to the little silver clip. Just, yeah, it's so such a small thing. We have his... The sort of sheath for his sword. There is nowhere to attach the, this to the, to the figure, so you kind of... I don't know, in the past I've, I've kind of glued some on. Um, some are attached to I have belts. Um, but I think for Sam's case, he's carrying a lot of extra stuff, so I might just leave this leave this aside and have him holding the sword. Um, we have him holding the Light of Arendil, which is nice. It's glued into his hand this time. When it came with Frodo, it was a separate item that he had placed in his hand. But I'm okay with it being glued in. It's uh, not going to lose it, and it's pretty much the same, same sort of hand. So you, you know you're not losing a hand because of that accessory. And then we get two other hands. We've got gripping left and sort of a relaxed right, and he has those alternate hands on the figure at the moment. So it looks nice. And of course the elvish elvish cloak, which looks amazing. I just wish um Frodo had gotten one of these with his figure, unfortunately. Frodo didn't come with one. Um just a little bit of a bummer. But I do have the old Toy Biz one here for Frodo, so I just put that on him. And that works for the most part, so I will drop a link to Frodo at the end of the video. So if you missed that review, you can go back and have a look at that one. So here is Sam, great likeness of uh, Sean Aston there. I think he looks fantastic. Really nice. The hair, the sculpt of the hair is brilliant. These little pointy ears there. 
that sort of bronze goldish look to his hair. Looks really nice. Nicely sculpted, nicely painted as well. I like the sort of the dirtiness of his shirt, all the sort of the little nooks and crevices in the creases. You know, really brings out the sculpt and the paint detail just adds to that sort of that wear and you know adds in the shadows of the clothing. And down the front, all these buttons. His belt. The same with his pants. They got a little bit of a wash over them just to sort of bring out some extra details. You know, hobbits are, you know, very much farmers, gardeners. They're going to get a little bit grubby out there in the in the fields, doing what they do. Especially, you know, these two adventuring through Middle Earth. And then down to his feet, his little hairy feet. They look great. Articulation's pretty solid throughout. Does have that sort of ball joint in the head, hinges in the shoulders. They're very, very sort of stiff joints, Diamond Select, but they're strong. And we'll sort of loosen up a little bit with time, but you do get that sort of creaky sound. This is not a big deal. You know, once they're sort of posed on the shelf, it's all good. But yeah, they're nice, nice, snug, tight joints. You know, there's hinges in the wrists, and that one's a little bit tight, so I'm not going to budge that too much. If you ever feel like a joint's a little bit too tight, don't try and budge it. Just, you know, heat it up into some hot water or something. See, that one's a little bit tight, but it's moving. And you've got this sort of ball and socket in the top of the, top of the legs there. Hinge in the knees. Hinge in the ankles and then a rocker joint for the feet. So you can sort of give him a little bit of a wider stance, you know. If you've got him facing up against Shelob or some Orcs. So let's put some gear on him. I'm going to pop his head off. As you can see, that's nice and easy. That's meant to be made to do that. So you can get his little satchel over the shoulder. And you can pretty much get all this stuff on. I've seen a few reviews where they kind of say you can only go to the backpack and... Or the, uh, the elvish robe, but you can actually do both. So we're going to do that. So that, you know, the robe sort of sits on nicely over the shoulders. So it kind of sits good. Looks nice. Love the love the look of the of the of the cloak there. It's nice. And then the backpack doesn't have to strap on. You can just sort of sit over, if we just drape it over, tuck those handles underneath his arms. And you can kind of see the way it's been sculpted or molded, these the bag handles. They sort of they're made to sit over that cloak. And sort of allow that a little bit of room for articulation. Obviously you can sort of see there there's nowhere for it to go, but it's not so loose that it's gonna fall off. And even under this arm, it's sort of tucked under there. And just the way it sort of sits over it, you can kind of... You can see it's, it's made to sort of sit over the top of the cloak. It does look good, equally as good when you've got it strapped over him without the cloak, but to have him sort of... Well, having displayed with both, it works. It works really, really well. So that's it's really clever what they've done there, Diamond Select. You can get that backpack on as well, which is nice. Can't have Sam without his gear. Give him his sword back. Just have him holding his, his the sheath for his sword. Because, yeah, he's there's not really anywhere for him to put it. There is Master Gamji. Looks really good. So yeah, we just need the, uh, the Merry and Pippin. I think they're due for release later this year, early next. 
We have Frodo standing next to Sam, slightly, slightly shorter. But yeah, like I said, it would be very nice to have an, the Elvish robe with him too. He has his sword, his sheath attached. And yeah, again, I got the, the old Toy Biz Elvish cloak for Frodo. It's just, it just it looks a little bit better with, with that on it, in my opinion. Would love to have another, another of Sam's to put on there, but... It's all good, it's all good. So we got these two together at last. Frodo and Sam, Sam and Frodo. Again, I'll put a link at the end of the video for Mr. Frodo, and you can go and check out that review. Go back and have a look at Samwise, uh, Saruman the Wise if you missed that one. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again very soon. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. See you on the next one. May the rings be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.